Good morning, guys. Madison's here. She took five minutes from her college program to come say hi to us. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> she's been here for like two hours. You've been sleeping. I've been sleeping, yeah. yeah. So it's our Friday. Yeah. I got up at 7 a.m. this morning. We're actually going to go finally try the Japanese place near our house. So we had a video last week about we were driving there. We're going to try it out, do all this, it and it close. didn't work out. Yeah. So we're going there today. And we will see you there when we get there. It's about two minutes away from the house. salad and some soup all of us did so this comes with a lunch special which is what we got and uh, we're gonna try it let's go food does cup and I got the hibachi chicken with white rice and I also got a side of noodles and it comes with yum yum sauce so everyone got the yum yum sauce Amanda got the combo so she got the hibachi chicken and shrimp so she got fried rice and the man er, mild Madison <laughs> <laughs> she got the combo. She did chicken, hibachi chicken, and scallop. Scallops. There we go. That's a word. All right. Let's dig in. Also, the soup and salad were pretty good, right? Oh, they were really good. Really good. You like them? Mm -hmm. We just got done eating <laughs> at the at the Japanese place, as you guys saw. Mazen just got hit with the door. <laughs> <laughs> the food was honestly really good, and it was a little bit cheaper than meat too. But I thought the food was really good. What it you guys delicious. think? It was delicious. Definitely gonna have to go back. Yeah. Um, it's it's really close to Champions Gate. It's over here, right next to the Publix. Um, literally, this area looks familiar to you, maybe. Uh, but it was really good. So we're gonna go there again. Yeah. And uh, now I'm really full, and I want to go sleep because I'm so full. We're not sleeping now. Uh. So we're kind of new to this like review, and we're not necessarily like food critics. We're not food critics at all. Mm -hmm. we, we eat pretty cheaply and. Yeah. What we like is what we like. But one thing I wanted to make sure we talked about was why we like the food at uh, Sashimi Fusion, I think is how it's called. <laughs> From pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. But I just wanted to say about the food that I thought it was actually really flavorful. Like, I thought... It, the shrimp had a lot of flavor to it. Yeah. The hibachi sauce was sweeter, so it was, like, closer to a teriyaki, so it was really good. Um, we ordered the fried rice at first. Mitchell and I don't like big chunks of vegetables in our rice. No. Uh, they said that it did have uh, scallions. Scallops? Oh, sorry. Scallions. Scallops. <laughs> Just let me talk. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> scallions, carrots, and onions, but they were very small pieces. I thought, fine, I'll, I'll get along with it. Mitchell went with the white rice. They were smaller pieces than the rice itself. Yeah. It was very tiny. Mixed in very well. It also had egg in it, which I love. Egg I love and fried egg. Rice. Yes. Ugh. The rice was very good. You weren't crunching on anything. No. So if you don't like all those vegetables in your rice, it doesn't even matter here because you can't taste it. And I'm very big. Like I don't. When we go to Mitsu, I'm like no onions in the rice. Like I just, I just can't do it. Yeah. I looked at Mandel's when they brought it out, and I was like, I'm just going to try some. I had a couple bites, and it was amazing. You was, can't even taste no. the onions. And it was so flavorful. Yeah. They have, I don't know if it's the seasoning or what they do, but honestly, I think the food, what I liked about it's the food good. the most was very flavorful. Mm -hmm. And that's, that. you know, like, I personally, I think that I like the soup and salad better at Mitsu. Yeah. Um, but also... The salad dressing is sweeter at Mitsu. This one tasted more like ginger. It had yeah. a heavier ginger flavor to it, which yeah. I liked. I thought it was good. I do prefer Mitsu's uh, dressing. That Because Mitsu's dressing is like heaven on so earth. Good. This is very close. Though. Yeah, it's very close. And actually, it's really good that it's this close because yeah. when we don't want to drive all the way out there. And it's like, right it's like almost a dollar cheaper per meal. Yeah. Almost. And then the noodles I had were really good. Mm -hmm. I would say that they're almost better than Mitsu's. They're right they're on par. The yeah, they were really good though. Yeah. And they were like three fifty five, so a little little pricey for a side of noodles, um, I think. But the food overall was really good, and service was really good, yeah. and it was really clean in there and it looked really nice. It looked very pretty. One thing is that the at Mitsu the lunch special, 
comes with the vegetables oh, yes. that the dinner special comes with. Here, it doesn't. You just get two little pieces of broccoli. So that is something worth mentioning if you typically like the vegetables that come with your Japanese meals. This yeah. doesn't come with it on the lunch special, but it does on the dinner special. Yeah, and on the dinner special, you also get to choose between white rice or noodles, and you or can get fried it, or rice. fried rice. So it's always an option to substitute yeah. there. But as overall, it was really good, and we're definitely going to go back to it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, once again, it is over here where Champions Gate is. So, um, if you, it's basically south of Disney. Champions Gate is maybe what, 10 minutes away from Disney at most, if, for those of you who aren't familiar with it. And it's just up the street off the exit. So, off of I 4 West, you take exit 58. And then when you take exit 58, you'll take a left. And you follow that all the way down to the traffic light that comes to a, what is it, CVS or Walgreens? CVS. CVS. Uh, Wawa and Publix. It's right there in that complex with Publix. It was really good. Yeah. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. We hope you had as much fun watching it as we did making it. Make sure you subscribe here for more fun videos. And don't forget to check out the previous video, which is right here. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter and any other social media we have. We'll put the links below for that. Thanks again for watching.